Hello my Labyrinth enthusiast, I'm the Empire Ian and welcome to Batty Decks, the series where I give you a profile on a deck that I've brewed up on a whim for your entertainment. The Gate Guardian streak continues yet again. This time we are doing Labyrinth and Labyrinth. Uh, I mean Labyrinth and Labyrinth. La Labyrinth and L Labyrinth? I I I'm mashing together Gate Guardian and Labyrinth. Let's go. So here's the deck. As usual for a Batty Deck mini episode, we've already covered the main deck in another video, so check that one out for a full picture of what's going on here. But in this one, we're mixing up Gate Guardian with Labyrinth, a trap control deck that focuses on a bunch of femboy maids and big ladies who are in love with knights that they want to come visit their castle. So they build a giant labyrinth. It's a fun little lore. I like it. It's gay. It's cool. It's really neat. The deck is focused on traps. We have a lot of trap cards and means we also have a lot of cards in general. We are running 46 cards. I am very uncomfortable with the amount of cards that we are running, but it seems like the right amount for this deck. As such, we're running a very small Gate Guardian package. We're running one of each piece, fusion deployment to get them out, double attack, wind and thunder, the field spell, which is still great. One of the field spell searcher, this is a once per turn. So if we're running 46 cards already, I just want one of it. Three heavy tank and one prey the Jirai Gumo. It's a trap card. It's not a normal trap card though, which Labyrinth is very focused on normal trap cards. Not as good as it could have been. We have terraforming in order to search our field spell and Labyrinth Labyrinth which um, is the whole joke of this deck. Labyrinth Field Spell has an effect where if you activate a set Welcome Labyrinth Normal Trap, you can activate an additional effect to destroy a card in the field. And if you activate a non-Labyrinth Normal Trap card, you can special summon a Fiend monster from your hand or graveyard. We've got one of each Big Lady and the Labyrinth Arch Fiend. Big Lady number one makes it so our opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to the activation of Normal Trap cards, and also allows us to target a Normal Trap in the graveyard and set it to the field, but it can't be activated unless I control a Fiend monster. Also, if a monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect, I can destroy a card in my opponent's hand, or on the field. Second Big Lady can't be targeted by card effects while I control a set card, and cannot be destroyed by the opponent's card effects. Once per turn, if a normal trap card or a labyrinth card effect is activated, I can special summon this card from the hand in defense position, and when a normal trap card is activated, I can set a normal trap with a different name directly from the deck. These two together make a pretty powerful pair. Labyrinth Archfiend gains 400 attack for each normal trap with a different name in the graveyard. Opponent's monsters cannot target Fiend monsters for attacks except for Labyrinth Archfiend. And if a trap card is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can set a normal trap from your deck that can only be activated when an attack is declared. Three each of the Femboy Maids. Femboy Maid number one, Ariana, can send a normal trap from the hand to special summon a level four or lower Fiend monster. And if another monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect, you can draw a card and then special summon a fiend monster or set a spell trap. Femboy maid number two, Ariana, when normal or special summon, allows you to add a labyrinth card from your deck to your hand, except for Ariana. And if another monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect, you can then draw a card and special summon a fiend monster or set a trap. Both of these cards are pretty good in combination. One Chandra Glier, two, two Stovey Torby, and one Ku Clock. I hope I said those correctly. Those ones are hard, they're tricky. Chandrag Lear can be sent at quick effect speed to discard a card and set a Labyrinth spell trap from hand or deck. If a monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect while this is in the graveyard, you can also add this card to your hand. Stovey Torby can also be sent from the hand and discard a card to set a Labyrinth spell trap from hand or deck. This one though, if a monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect, you can special summon it. And lastly, Ku Clock has a slightly different effect where you can discard this card and make it so that this turn you can activate one normal trap card that was set this turn if you control a Labyrinth monster. If a card is sent from hand to grave to activate a normal trap card or your labyrinth card or effect, except for Ku Clock, while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card back to your hand or special summon it. It's kind of got a little bit of Torby and a little bit of Dr Chandelier. We've got a Void Trap Hole, which allows us to negate the effects of a monster with 2,000 or more attack when our opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack. Three Welcome Labyrinth. This is the big trap card of the archetype. Special summon a Labyrinth monster from your deck until the end of the next turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the next deck or deck, except for Fiend monsters, which not great for us, but the lock is fine. We're, we're, a, we're a control deck. It's fine. Three Evenly Matched. These are normal trap cards. Did you know that? 
Fair Welcome Labyrinth, another Welcome Labyrinth card. When a monster declares an attack while you control a fiend monster, target one card in the field, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy that targeted card. Then you can set a non-Labyrinth spout normal trap from your hand or deck. We've got two Floodgate Trap Hole. This is one of the best trap holes, and it's a normal trap as well. Big Welcome Labyrinth, another Welcome Labyrinth card. We got three of this. It special summons a Labyrinth monster from hand, deck, or graveyard, and then returns a monster you control to hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a fiend monster you control. If you control a level later higher fiend monster, you can target one card your opponent controls instead. Return that card to the hand. You can only use this once per turn and only one effect per turn. We've got three compulsory evacuation device, which is probably the best trap you can get off of the labyrinth cards, except for the welcome cards, perhaps. This just lets you target a card and return it to hand. Most people know this card by now. In the extra, we have a bunch of the fusion cards. We're running one less of Guardian of Thunder and Wind and Guardian of Water and Thunder than we do in our normal deck, mainly because of space. We've got Draglubion. We have little eights, so we might as well play Draglubion. We're still running Dragon of Annihilation. This guy's pretty good. We got Dracusac, uh, level sevens, you know? Big Eye, level sevens, you know? We have the Numeron Dragon for Druglubion, of course. And lastly, we have Time Thief Redoer, Baguska, and Abyss Dweller, which we can make with our Femboy Maids. Feel free to look at the side deck in your own time. It's all just kind of standard stuff, honestly. Uh, but we're not going to deal with that in this video, because we are just going to do one casual match. So let's get into the game. So here is our one and only casual match, and we have drawn cards uh this is not great but we're a control deck we're gonna play slow it's fine it's fine i swear it's fine we are going first so we're going to activate terraforming to get labyrinth labyrinth could have gotten the field spell for gate guardian decided not to and then we're going to set the cards making sure to set jirai gumo in the worst possible space but it turns out they went for it. Look at this shit. They went for it. We're going to activate Big Welcome Labyrinth. They're going to activate Ghost Bell. We're going to activate Jirai Gumo and pop their guy before they get to activate it. They're going to activate Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill. And then they're going to send a couple of cards to summon Zeamin from deck. Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill, by the way, was to negate Prey of the Jirai Gumo, but it didn't do any, it doesn't have any effects anymore. So, who cares? They're going to add uh, a Punk to hand. They're going to summon Wielder. We're going to Floodgate Trap Hole it. They're going to activate the effect of Ogre Dance, sending Xeomin. Activate Xeomin to increase his attack and then attack over Jirai Gumo. Then we're going to take damage from that because of Ghost Loom, Ghost Mourner, and Moonlit Chill. We draw Welcome Labyrinth off the top. We're going to activate Jirai Gumo to grab Kazajin. We now have two of the Gate Guardian pieces. We're going to set Welcome Labyrinth and pray. We're going to activate the effect, we're going to get the lady, so that means we get to pop a fart card with our a field spell. We're going to activate the effect of Big Welcome Labyrinth and the lady, and uh, uh yeah, we got to get rid of that wielder. They're going to set one card and surrender. <laughs> I guess they figured that the one card couldn't beat us. Uh, I don't even know what we would have drawn off the top. We weren't winning that turn. But it's an intimidating board, I guess. We do have a lot of recursion with Big Lady. Um, so, you know, maybe that's why. So that's the deck. Uh, not the best deck, but there's some weird synergies. And the control strategy actually really helps the Gate Guardian pieces. If you slow down the game, the Gate Guardian pieces are a lot easier to collect and create combined with. I just don't think it's the best build of Labyrinth, nor is it the best build of Gate Guardian. It's sort of the worst of both worlds, but it's not bad. I would actually say it's better than the Kashtira build we did last time. So unlike that one, maybe you might want to check this one out. If you do, let me know, and I'll see you in the next Gate Guardian video. Hey there, thanks for watching this deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any other thoughts on the build or if you played this deck and how it did. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more. And maybe throw a couple bucks my way on Patreon if you like. I hope you see you again, so be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye!